I finally got my hands on these. Ever since they got released, the Spro KGB Chad Chads have been selling out quick. As a fisherman of 5 years, the one technique that I want to improve on the most is big glide baits. I've tried many different brands, but never found my bread and butter. However, when I saw the Chad Chad, I knew this was what I was looking for. A $60 bait that would be able to catch the new world record bluegill. Oh, and a couple big bass as well. I got one! I got one! Dude! I got one! Ian! 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 Ian help! 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 I'm, I'm being taken into a tree. Our verse of the day comes from Dalton Bolden, and he comments, 1 Timothy 3, 4. Do not let anyone look down on you, for you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. My boy Ian here, he is 19 years old. I am a ripe 20. And you know, us both being believers in Jesus, I feel like we're on the younger side nowadays. But I find it very encouraging that in 1 Timothy, Paul writes to us that we shouldn't be discouraged by how young we are, but rather we should actually set an example uh, for both young and the old. And I think college is the perfect place to do that. So we just got out of class. Ian, get up and let's show everybody the rig. So this is a two person canoe by Old Town. It's nothing special. I literally have my GoPro mounted here and on my chest. Got my one rod and one reel for this. If this thing somehow breaks, that's like the end of the video. So Oof. this uh, canoe is not super stable, but can I rock with this? Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Pushing off. Mm -hmm. I mean, every single canoe is just testing my balance. Whew. Ian and I were talking a little bit and there's been a significant amount of big fish being caught out of this lake lately. We had a seven and a five pounder caught last week. And since I'm starting off with a glide bait, I want to fish somewhere that's sort of deep. So over there yonder is a nice drop off. Now, because I don't really trust myself to not break off a bait, I have two Chad Chads. One in a bone color and another one in a more realistic presentation. We'll do this one second. Can we perhaps first catch something on this? I mean, it's like a two ounce bait and this back fin is, it's the same type of material that they make mops with. Sunglasses on, oh yeah. My third week of college, how do I think it's going? Well, I mean, we've caught a fish every single week so far, so that's pretty good. I'm using a 7.5 heavy rod with some 20 pound fluorocarbon and it seems to handle it pretty fine. You want a little bit of a fast tip on here. If it's too much of a broomstick, you might just rip it out of a fish's mouth. Let's make a short cast just to gauge the action of this. Okay, so the sink rate, pretty good. Oh, no way. This thing is insanely easy to chop. I'm just reeling it in and look at that, look. I have never fished a single glide bait that's this easy. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, I like our chances today. First cast. Well, bam. You know what we could really use right now? Just like a little bit of wind. And then that would be the icing on the cake. It's a little bit cloudy today, so the bait fish won't be afraid to come out and play. That means the big bass, they're gonna be out here chasing. Everybody comment down below. Would you ever spend $60 on a glide bait? And do you think this is over or underpriced? A lot of y'all asked me for a good starter bait caster and I recommend to you the Abu Garcia Black Max. That thing is like $60. The same as this piece of plastic right here. Throw it near this tree. Oh, I meant near the tree, not into the tree. I'm convinced that God placed trees near the water to humble fishermen. I remember these things dropped during the summer, but they were just out of stock everywhere. But I finally managed to pick some up at ACM Tackle. So if you want to go ahead and give this a try for yourself, there's the place to get them. All right, second cast. Oh yeah, that's legit right there. Boom, chop, 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 chop. Cool thing about glide baits is the fish won't always commit, but they will sometimes just follow it in so you can just see them. Oh, man, that is gonna get so destroyed today. This is my new favorite glide, instantly. I haven't even caught a fish with it, and I can already tell you, it is just so easy to use. 
a problem I have with a lot of glide baits is they would just like roll and like consistently go on one side rather than going like this. But this thing, whoa, it is too easy. Oh, I got bit. I got bit. I just got destroyed, Ian. Some other cool features about this bait is it has 360 hooks. Basically, you know, a usual treble. It can only spin a certain amount of degrees, but this thing, it just keeps on going. So that kind of, you know, lessen the chances of your fish getting off. We have three hours to make something happen because the boathouse at my school is only open for three hours. It's like three o'clock right now but I know the bite will just get better and better as time goes on. So I'm seeing a lot of wind right now on the other side and I hypothesize that the fish are feeding over there. So we're gonna go ahead and move over. This is where I caught a glide fish one time. I always come here. I just feel like there's something sitting here. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that scared me so bad. That was like the biggest gar I've ever seen chase my bait in. <laughs> Dude. Well, the big scary gar is pretty much all that we saw. So we're gonna head over to the main lake area, fish that channel. Put this little dude on the bench right now. Grab his cousin. One that looks a lot more realistic. It's like dead calm right now, but this thing looks so good. I can barely see this thing, and I bet the fish can barely see it either. I got one! I got one! Dude! I got one! Ian! 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 Help! 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 I'm, I'm being taken into a tree. Oh! Ian! It's big! It's big! Oh! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Whoa! Ian, this is not small. Alright, easy, easy, easy. Oh, he might get unhooked. He might get unhooked. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Come over here. Come over here. Please, please, please. Oh! Yes! <laughs> I lost my paddle. It was worth it. Praise the Lord. Oh, he was sitting right at the edge of that tree. I knew, I knew there was a fish there. All right, quick wait, and then we'll get her back in. Two and a half. One last look at her. That's the glide eater. Goodbye. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. This is my favorite glide now. There's no competition anymore. Uh, a couple videos ago, I did ask you guys to, you know, for your opinion on what I should call y'all. I think we got all sorts of types of names. It was like, I think the one that I remember the most is called like Yinners, you know, like winners, but with my last name, it would be Yinners. If you're still watching this video at this point, I would love if you guys could drop some more suggestions on some nicknames y'all would like to be called. It was also like the Yin fam and a couple other very creative ones that I just can't remember. We got like one more hour before the lake closes. We gotta hurry it up. Oh, that's a yeah! Oh. Ian. Ian, that's a big one. What? Nah. Let's go, Ian. That I think that's bigger than mine. Might be. Oh, last minute fish for Ian. I'm so happy for you. Yep, get him in. Easy, easy. Don't let him jump. Just slip him in. There you go. I've got a fish, Ian's got a fish. My GoPro kind of died. We're gonna take our last couple casts before we head in for dinner. Whew. Today was just a success all day, let alone a nice two and a half pounder. Like, wow, that is a big blessing. There we go, there we go. Oh, yes, that was a really big one. Oh, it was either a stick or a giant fish. 
I don't know. It was probably a stick. I ain't gonna lie. Nope. There he is. There he is. That's a big one. Oh, he's, he's got me wrapped. He's got me wrapped. Dude. Dude, 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 he's got me wrapped, dude. Oh, thank the Lord. Yes, there's our second one. Oh, my GoPro's not even working. And there he is. There's our second glide fish. All right, quick release. See ya. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's uh, fish this right side and then let's head in. Oh, no way. Oh, another one, a third one. This is big. This is not small, dude. Oh. This is, oh, that's, that's huge. That's huge. Oh. <laughs> yes, and my GoPro is dead too in the front. Oh, they're all here. Oh, that's the biggest of the day. Biggest of the day. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to do this <laughs> since it's not working on my GoPro. Look at that thing. <gasps> 2.8. Okay, cool. We'll let him go that way. This is probably one of the best days of fishing I've ever had. There's another fish, dude. Another, a fourth one. Fourth one on this thing. And they fight so hard. They fight so hard. <laughs> dude, this one fights harder than all the other ones. And it's probably the smallest. Thankful for this dude. I mean, he's fighting for his life. I'm gonna let you go. Goodbye. I'm done. Okay. I've been spoiled with four bass on the glide today. Y'all? I think we're just starting to get tuned in. And I don't know, maybe we'll be a professional glide bait fisherman in the future.